Hello, welcome to the fourth tutorial of this video series is about reflections of light and in this tutorial I will be explaining about the relations between the focal distance or the focal length and the radius of the curvature so shortly we can say that the proof of f equal r by 2 so we know that in my previous video that uh, I explained uh, if you see that there are some, some keywords or some definitions which is related with the reflections of sounds, reflections of light chapters. So according to that, F is the focal length or the focal distance and R is the radius of the curvature. Now how we can prove it that F is equal to R by 2? So according to my previous class I already explained and you also know that this is concave mirror and uh, this is the center of curvature and this is the pole and if I say that this is M P M prime is a concave mirror and right now if I say that this M point is actually here this point is M so if I say that A M is an incident ray incident ray which is adjacent which is very near okay adjacent to the principal axis or parallel to the principal axis is falling or incident in this mirror point M and then it's a reflect in this way and that point is known as F. So this F is the focal point uh, the principal focus or focal point. So now we need to prove it that this F is the midpoint of C and P. How to do it? Can we say this F is the midpoint of CP? How to say it? So right now we can say that at first, at first, what we can say? We can say that that M P M prime is a concave concave mirror. Okay. So we can say this is a concave mirror and right now AM is an incident ray adjacent to the principal axis is falling in point M and then reflect to this point F. Okay? So now if I joined C and M, then according to the rules MC will be the normal. So we can say that AM is incident incident ray and mf mf is the reflected ray reflected ray i'm just uh, writing it in short way and mc m and c is the connected point that is the normal so now can we say that this angle which is amc and this angle that A M C and this angle C M F are equal because we know that according to the reflection if it is normal and if it is incident and this is the reflected the incident and the reflected angle are same so we can say it because it's the law of reflection and this is a regular reflection. So in case of regular reflections, we know that the incident angle and the reflected angle are same. So from the law of reflections, we can say that from the law of reflection, reflection, we can say that angle AMC, AMC, that is the M angle, is equal cone C M F according to the law of reflection and now if I say that this A M and C P is parallel so now you think that A M and C F is parallel and M C is the intersect intersect lines then this is the alternate angle and according to according to geometry these two angles are same. So now if I say that this is A, M, C and this is P, so right now I can say according to this 
So according to this, uh, this should be not yes P. Then A A M C this angle and A M C P this angle are same because this is the uh, it's all an angle. So now uh, as as A M and C P is parallel and M C is intersecting intersecting them intersecting them then we can say okay that angle a m c and angle m c f are equal as because this is alternate angle alternate alternate angle so according to the geometry we can say that this angle and this angle are equal so in my previous explanation here, we are saying that AMC and CMF angle are equal. And right now, I'm saying that this angle and this angle are equal. So what you can say actually, you can say in some cases that uh, it's in, in, in some cases we can say that this angle and this angle are equal and right now this angle and this angle are equal. So we can say this one and this one are same. So this one and this one are same as because, see? So now we can say that M, C, F, this one and this one are same as because this is the common angle. So we can say angle C, M, F and angle M, C, F are equal. And if in triangle M, C, F, in triangle M, C, F, these two angles are equal, now we can say this adjacent arm is also equal. So now this M, C, F is an isosceles isosceles triangle so as it is isosceles triangle according to the geometry we know that those are isosceles triangle the adjacent two r or the true r is equal so now we say that as this triangle m c f is an isosceles triangle c f is equal to f m so now we can say that CF is equal to MF and then you just think about it that previously I saw that AM and CF, CP are adjacent so as we have seen there is a gap but this M angle M and P point are very near so we also can say that this FM and this FP are also equal so we also can say that CF is equal FP as, as M and P are very near as because it was an adjacent ray. So as we right now we can say that CF and FM that is CF and FM were equal and now CF is equal FP so if I say that CF equal FP, so now CP, CP is equal CF plus FP. So if I say that this distance is small f and CP is the radius or FP is the focal distance. So what we can say? Now we can say that okay that CP that is R the F plus F so now we can say that R is equal to F so we can say that F is equal R by 2 and this is the equation and I hope there is no problem to understand the process it's actually a very normal geometry and these angles are the point that we need to understand that how we can say that f equal r by 2 this way 
So at first we need to know that C and P are the C is the center of the curvature and P is the pole of this uh, of the the concave mirror. So CP is the radius of the curvature, which is actually small r, and then FP is the focal distance because this is small f. Now you see that how this process, or even you can have more idea from other sources, but this is a very short description so that we can say that f equal r by 2. And I hope you understand, and if you do not understand anything, and if you feel like something is there, or if you have any recommendations, please do let me know in the comment sections, and I hope that uh, I, I definitely will get some feedback from your side. And if you got anything new from this side or any other way to prove it or any other way, there is definitely ways to prove it in another way. Do let me know. So I, I'll definitely learn it from your side also. So take care. Stay well. See you in the next class. Bye.